they say we would have been, you love to hate. And there was a certain truth in that. Because first we got them with our looks, which was not planned, by the way. That was so natural, it was pathetic. It just happened. We, the way we looked on the streets was the way we looked basically on stage. You'll, you'd never find a doll, a New York doll, carrying his clothes on a hanger over his shoulder. You just wouldn't find that. It wasn't necessary. If we wanted to go right on stage with the drags we had on, boom, we did it. We could have fun with this. Uh, basically, generally, let's keep the songs, the music, hot and 50s, magical. The two-minute song, the three-minute song, no more than that. The two-minute, two-and-a-half-minute song, hit and run. Come on stage, hit and take off. Malcolm made a note of everything it took that he seen made a reaction. He jotted this down on paper if he had to, maybe that night, but he jotted it down, constantly, always. Uh, he had a lot of other things in mind, little by little he wanted to take over, he wanted to manage the group, which I thought, told he was a damn fucking joke. He's sexy. I remember one thing that sticks out in my mind, and I don't know why. The band's playing, and some scene is being created. And I don't hear no music. So what I'm seeing is Johnny, is, he had beautiful baggy, real baggy pants, and he had those, what do you call those shoes, those boat, you know, those big fat thick shoes, you know. I think somebody was giving him a hard time in the audience. So he goes into his pocket very slowly at his own pace, and he pulls out some change. And he's like counting his change, like make sure he has enough for bus fare to get on the bus and go home. You know, that's, that's what it looked like to me. And it's the way he did it, with such humor and camp, tongue-in-cheek, and I like that. What? The Anarchy Tour was total fun. Everything about it was a gas. It was great. <laughs> Malcolm sends a letter. It's a Sex Pistols tour. What we really want is the, is the dogs. And that was, that was absolutely no. Forget that. So uh, Malcolm said, okay, how about you and Jerry and your man, the Heartbreakers? Okay, well, you got them. Out of all those dates, how many dates would you say are there? Look, a quick guess. I don't know, 40, 38, 40, 30 some odd. We only did, we, I think we only did five or six dates. And we're lucky we got them. I mean, every time we went into an area, Leeds, you name it, whatever we went into, we had little babies little people, little girls and boys, who know nothing whatsoever about musical politics with their mothers and their fathers and their picketing and then go on apeshit over the fact that we, these bad boys, are doing a gig in their town. I told Johnny Lydon, we all make our own Frankensteins. And there's yours. You made your own Frankenstein. There was no room for Sid Vicious in the Pistols. It took the balance away and took it away from Johnny. <laughs> <laughs>